हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मनीषा गिरा से आई एम एम एस सी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड आई हैव डन पी एच डी इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेकेंड सेमिस्टर टॉपिक ऑफ पेपर वन दैट इज बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड बायोकेमिस्ट्री इन दिस पेपर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बैक्टीरियल एंडोस्पोर एंडोस्पोर आर द डॉर्मेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ द बैक्टीरियल स्ट्रक्चर दीज एंडोस्पोर दे आर हैविंग थिक वॉल दीज एंडोस्पोर इज वेरी रिफ्रेक्टाइल बॉडी वेन वी ऑब्जर्व दम अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप इट एमिट्स लाइट्स मीन्स इट इज अ रिफ्रेक्टाइल एंड दीज एंडोस्पोर्स आर हाईली रेजिस्टेंट टू द नॉर्मल कंडीशंस इन विच वेजिटेटिव सेल्स कैनॉट टॉलरेट बैक्टीरियल स्पोर्स इफ वी कंसिडर दे आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन टाइप इज नोन एज एंडोस्पोर एंड अनदर टाइप इज नोन एज एक्सोस्पोर फ्रॉम द नेम इट सेल्फ इट इज क्लियर एंडोस्पोर मीन्स दीज स्पोर्स आर फॉर्म इन साइड द पेरेंट वेजिटेटिव सेल मीन्स दे आर फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द वेजिटेटिव सेल्स दीज एंडोस्पोर्स आर हाईली ड्यूरेबल मीन्स दे कैन लिव फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्गर पीरियड in normal condition there is no need to keep them in refrigerator even at room temperature endospores can survive for many days and even some spores can survive for years so they are known as highly durable and these are the dehydrated cells means water content is very less these endospores can survive under extreme heat condition they do not have water freezing and exposure to many toxic chemicals and radiation can be tolerated means they are tolerant to heat they are tolerant to dehydration lack of water they can tolerate freezing condition and they can tolerate even exposure to chemicals and even lethal radiations can be tolerated by endospores these endospores are also known as resting cells means they are not multiplying in this phase the second type of spore is known as exospores these exospores are formed outside the vegetative cells just like bud formation the bud form at one end like like bud formation the spores are formed these exospores they do not contain a speci- special compound that is dipicolinic acid which is present in the endospore they can also resist desic- desiccation means dry condition and they can tolerate uh, heat endospore formation usually occurs in rod shaped bacteria like bacillus and clostridium in this genus it is very com- common these spores their position is specific in different bacterial cell in some bacteria they are located at the center therefore spores can be centrally located sometimes spores are located at one end in one cell these are this position is known as terminal location in some cases they are not exactly at the center and not exactly at the terminal but they are in between these two positions and this position is known as subterminal endospore so in the first diagram we have shown central position of the spore in the second diagram it is shown that terminal position of the spores actually inside the cell and in the third diagram we can see sub terminal location of the endospore now there are some specific features of the endospores endospores have very unique cellular structure they are surrounded by outer covering and this outer covering is made up of protein therefore they are having proteinaceous outer covering this coating provide enzymatic and chemical resistance therefore normal enzymes and chemicals they cannot enter inside the spores now these spores are lined by a thick inner layer and it consists of specialized peptidoglycan and this specialized peptidoglycan which is normally present in the cell wall it can form the cortex which is the part of the endospore now it is cortex is essential for uh, peptidoglycan is essential for proper formation of cortex it brings about the dehydration of spore as a re- result water is removed and this is important because in dehydrated condition only spores can tolerate high temperature 
if inside the spore water is present then it cannot tolerate high temperature but because of the dehydrated nature it can tolerate high temperature beneath the cortex there is cell wall and this cell wall layer is made up of peptidoglycan which later in later stage of development it becomes cell wall when spore germinate under the cell wall there is a inner membrane which act as a permeability barrier it do not allow any chemical to enter inside and therefore spores are resistant to uh, many chemicals because they cannot enter because of this permeability barrier the core part of the spore means the central part of the spores that lies in the uh, central position it is in the it is in dehydrated state and it contains the genetic material that is the dna along with dna there is presence of dipicolinic acid if we consider the dry weight of the spore 10% of the weight of the spore that is due to the formation of dipicolinic acid this dipicolinic acid is only present in the spore it is not present in any other part of the bacterial cell along with dna there is dipicolinic acid in the core part ribosomes are present because in later stage they will be essential for formation of different enzymes it is also uh, this uh, core part is also responsible for uv light resistance property because it protects the dna from the damaging effect of the uv light because of this presence of dipicolinic acid the dna damaging effect of uh, dna that is reduced in addition in the spore there is presence of exosporium this exosporium is an outer layer of glycoprotein now this is the diagrammatic representation of endospore inner part that is known as core Out, uh, outside the core there is inner membrane then this inner membrane that is covered by germ cell wall outside germ, germ cell wall there is a thick layer of cortex cortex is having outer layer that is outer membrane and the exterior part of the endospore that is known as coat of the endospore okay now the formation from vegetative cell there is formation of spore this step of formation of endospore from vegetative cell that is known as sporulation means from vegetative growing cell when endospore is formed this stage is known as sporulation it takes under unfavorable condition normally if everything is favorable cell is growing then cell will just multiply it will not go for endospore formation but as soon as conditions become unfavorable then there is formation of endospore in the bacteria which are capable of producing spores now what are the unfavorable conditions for sporulation for example absence or depletion of essential element like carbon source is depleted nitrogen source is depleted or phosphorus is depleted or limited then under this these conditions are unfavorable condition under these conditions spore, uh, spore formation start other conditions like unavailability of water means dry conditions when vegetative cell cannot grow then at that time there will be formation of endospore these endospores are we have already seen they are highly durable they can live very longer period as compared to vegetative cell they are dehydrated they can survive in very extreme conditions like absence of water absence of uh, very extreme heat this genera clostridium and bacillus they as a result they are very tolerant to all the environmental factors now we in detail we will see the formation of endospore that is sporulation this sporulation is very complicated process many changes are there in the vegetative cell around seven stages are there now the first stage is axial filament formation that is the stage 1 in this first stage there is first the adjustment of dna genetic material of the bacterial cell it get adjusted in the accurate central plane then after the adjustment of the dna then septa formation starts in stage 2 a septum is known as four spore septum means initially whatever septa is formed that is known as four spore septum that is formed and this septum formation takes place due to the folding of the plasma membrane inside the cell the uh, cell membrane goes inside the cell lumen 
and as a result a septum develops because of this septum development the dna detaches from the remaining genetic material two copies of dna are formed and they detach from each other third step is four spore engulfment this newly formed immature spore that is entirely engulfed by the membrane of the mother cell and this engulfment goes on proceeding and it causes the four spore to en enveloped by inner membrane as a result around the dna the four spore inner intermembrane space will be formed and the two plasma membrane in between these two plasma membranes the fourth step is cortex formation the inner membrane space which is there which is formed because of the plasma membrane between two membranes it gives the formation of the cortex and in this cortex there is accumulation of a specialized compound of endospore and that is dipicolinic acid and calcium as a result the calcium salt of dipicolinic acid that is present inside the cortex and it is present in very large amount now the fifth step is protein coat formation the cortex of hence formed spore is covered with the protein coat final protein coat layer is formed then uh, step is maturation of the spore now the cell become totally metabolically inactive means no metabolic reactions are going on and these core turns increasingly dehydrated slowly water is removed and it become metabolically in inactive no enzymatic reactions are going on and final step is destruction of enzyme whatever endospores are released as a result of destruction of the enzyme of the spore mother cells means spore mother cell release enzymes and then endospore comes out so in this seven steps endospore formation takes place this endospore formed it can withstand even boiling that is why we have to carry out sterilization of material at 121 degree celsius for 15 minutes just by boiling we cannot sterilize the material because these endospore can tolerate boiling conditions then it can withstand des desiccation even in dry condition they can survive and even after high concentration of disinfectant they can tolerate spores therefore in advertisement of disinfectant we see there is no 100% killing of bacteria some bacteria are alive they don't claim that our disinfectant can kill 100% microorganisms because if there are spores these spores can tolerate the unfavorable conditions therefore they in advertisement also they show some spores uh, some organisms are alive means spores can escape and they can under favorable condition they can grow when conditions become favorable now we have seen under which unfavorable condition endospore is formed but opposite to this when favorable condition returns spores will germinate and they are transformed into vegetative cells in some species the spore diameter is greater than the diameter of the bacterial cell means larger size spores can be formed now here we can see the cycle of sporulation first polar division takes place then pre spore is formed septum form septum is formed then um, the larger part is known as mother cell then in stage 3 there is engulfment of the four spore in stage 4 there is cortex formation is there then cell wall layer is formed cell membrane two layers are there then finally there is formation of coat and then when spore matures then cell lies and spore is germinated when favorable condition returns then there is conversion of the spore into vegetative cell now we'll see this uh, spore germination the germination process occur in three stages we have seen spore formation takes place in seven stages the spore germination means now in sporulation vegetative cell is converted to endospore in spore germination endospore is converted to vegetative cell sporulation takes place under unfavorable condition spore germination takes place under favorable condition is it clear the germination process takes place in three stages first stage is activation of the spore second is initiation of the spore germination and third stage is the outgrowth 
Now the first stage, activation. Even when the cells are placed in the environmental conditions which are favorable, like nutrients are sufficient, temperature is ambient, then the activation process will start. But for activation, certain agents are required. Just favorable conditions cannot cause the activation of the spore. For activation of the spore, certain activating agents are required. And these activating agents, they break the dormancy phase of the endospore. Now, what are the activating agents? Activating agents like heat, activating agents like some abrasive material, they will damage the uh, spore uh, coat or acidity or certain compounds. For example, self-hydryl group containing compounds, they can act as an activating compound. After activation, there is initiation. The activated cell will initiate the germination conditions should be favorable. Different species can recognize different effector as a signal to understand whether the medium is rich or not. Bacteria is having system that they can sense whether in the medium nutrients are sufficient or not. These bind effector activates to the uh, atolysin and this rapidly degrade the cortex layer, cortex peptidoglycan layer because of the atolysin is released because of these if, uh, activator molecules atolysin is released and these atolysin will degrade the cortex means thick layer of peptidoglycan which is present around the spore because of the degradation of this cortex layer water ends enter inside the cell now the dehydrated spore will take the water calcium dipicolinate acid will be released out and variety of spore constitute the degradation of various hydrolytic enzymes. They will be released. Then outgrowth. Degradation of the cortex and the outer layer. Due to this, the new cell emerge out. And it consists of the protoplast with the surrounding wall. At the active biosynthesis start because now water is available, nutrients are available, conditions are favorable. Therefore, cell is now not dormant. Now it is in active biosynthetic stage. This period terminates the cell division and it is called as outgrowth is formed. The, for this outgrowth formation, obviously nutrients are required because there is cell growth. Therefore, for growth, nutrients are essential. So finally, we can conclude in this. We have seen the structure of endospore. We have seen how sporulation takes place. Then how en uh, endo uh, endospore germination takes place we can see that the bacterial endospore formation this overall process is not the process of multiplication because when any living being multiplied multiply then the multiplication takes place it increase in number here from one vegetative cell one spore is formed and when one spore will germinate one vegetative cell is formed means finally the number is only one because one spore can form one cell and one cell can form one spore. So there is no increase in the number. Final number remains the same. Therefore, it is not increase in number of bacteria. Therefore, it is not a method of reproduction. But it is just a method of survival under unfavorable condition. So sporulation is in bacteria, especially in bacteria. In fungi, from one vegetative cell, many spores are formed. Therefore, it is a method of reproduction. But in case of bacteria, when endospore is formed, it is not a method of reproduction, but it is just a method of survival under unfavorable condition. So here we have completed the topic structure of endospore. Now we'll stop here.